First up, we continue at the Banff Ave Brewing Company with some dessert. Okay, we are now gloved up, ready for ready for dessert creation. So, um, what do you got going on here? Well, what we're doing here is a pumpkin kuchen with a honeycomb streusel and a cream ale foam. And we've also made a homemade pumpkin ice cream here. It's almost like liquid pumpkin pie. There you go. So, what we'll do, just seared off this cake after it's been cut a little bit with a bit of butter so it caramelizes a little bit. Nice scoop of ice cream right on top. Just gonna garnish with a little bit of mint. And our cream ale foam, which is basically one of our beers. We've kind of reduced that down into a syrup and uh, just made it a little more stable so when we add some air into it, it'll hold for a little while. And that is it. There you go. Now that we're sweetened up, we take you to the Evergreen Restaurant, tucked away in the Delta Royal Canadian Lodge. All right, we're at our last kitchen stop with Chef Gary. Now, what do you guys have going on for this culinary festival? Well, we've got a number of things going on. Uh, one of the things I have here is uh, these uh, beautiful pork chops that I get from Sprague's Meat Shop, which is out in Rosemary, Alberta. We're just going to marinate them with a little, uh, uh, we just did a little first. olive oil. Yeah. And then we're going to put some, uh, a few chili flakes, give a little bit of a bite. That's more than a few. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be too... You put a lot of, uh, some, that's to, like some Mexican oregano. We're going to rub this all over the pork chop like that. We do the same on the other side. And how long do you usually mar let, it, let that uh, sit in? You can do this more? overnight, you know, rub it like this and marinate it overnight. And we're going to serve those with this uh, sauce right here. And what is in this sauce? Well, we call this a uh, Vasquez sauce. And it's uh, red peppers, tomato paste, star anise, coriander seed, and uh, should be Basque ham, but we use a bit of prosciutto. Back to the appetizer. The appetizer, and I love mussels because that's another thing that's so versatile as well. A few shallots. So now these cafe lime leaves. Uh, I've got that really nice citrusy flavor. Some of these in. This sauce here, it's just basically like a little uh, coconut milk, a little bit of fish stock, a little bit of uh, uh, Thai green curry. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Now steamed mussels, there you go. People come here and they're interested in getting uh, getting the recipes, so you can just oh. contact us and. Uh, so not too many life. secrets, hey? You can you let some of that out. That's no, no, good. No, we're fine to uh, share it with the people. So, so they have to come and have dinner first, and then. Oh, uh, that's how. Okay, yeah. that's how it works. Have dinner first, and then uh, we'll give you the recipe. So. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was yeah, wonderful. This looks great. Well, there's no shortage of award-winning dishes to try here in Banff, so why not come out and tempt your taste buds and join in on Bon Appetit Banff for Go Calgary. I'm Lisa Valance.